hey guys so in this video i'll be i'll be reading a book on stop orders it's titled as stop orders a practical guide to using stop orders for traders and so let's get started introduction as a self taught trader and master a graduate of what i call the investment school of hard knocks i spent many years figuring out a lot of things for myself using broker supplied education and naturally conflicting goals one of the things i had to figure out was how and when to apply what i know now considered to be the most important tool in traders armory is the stop order first glance it seems so simple a stop order allows you to stop a loss which in trading circles is generally acknowledged to be a good thing some traders even calling it the most important thing but there's more to to it than that because successful traders use stop orders in a variety of different ways in addition to their role as a stop loss mechanism they use stop orders to enter new positions as well as exit as well as to exit exiting bad position they use stop orders to secure a profit without prematurely crystallizing the profit by closing a trade they use stop orders to sell short and then and then buy long so as to benefit from falling prices they use trailing stop orders to track a falling price so as to buy at a low price when the trend begins to turn they use trailing stop orders to track a rising price so as to sell at a high price when the trend begins to turn down they use stop orders to partially automate their trading in order to be able to leave their computer screens long enough to make a cup of tea for the day traders or go on holiday for the longer term traders in india in this book about stop orders we need to consider all of those possibilities and in doing so we will find that the humble stop order is not so humble after all taking the emotion of trading i've heard it said about golf that the good players are not necessarily the ones who hit the best shots but the ones who hit the least number of bad shots the same may be true of trading and investing you might get lucky by taking a few valid actually will swings but you just but you're just like as likely to find yourself perpetually in the financial long grass what you really need in both games is consistency top orders help you to trade consistently because they allow you to specify in advance with a full head price at which it will make sense for you to buy or sell regardless of your emotional state at the time that your target price is the time comes your stop order with the broker will or at least should carry it out without question this is a good thing because when the time comes it often the worst time for you to make a rotational trading this rational trading decision when all about you are losing your heads due to fear and greed the stop order will ensure that you don't lose yours why buy or sell at a less favorable price one thing that bothered me about the stop orders of first encountering them was that the fact that as one of my spread betting providers puts it i stop order is an order that executes at price less favorable than the current market whereas the limit order allows you to buy at a more favorable lower price than the current market price or to sell at a more favorable higher price than the current market price a stop order encourages you to do exactly the opposite that sounds rather odd isn't it why would why would anyone ever want to buy or sell at a less favorable price than the current market price is this 
this book in this book i'll show you part one top orders in theory the tools may orders orders stop orders and there are many flavors okay now if you're if you researched stop orders already on your broker's web to and you may well have encountered phrases like stop order to buy stop order to sell trailing stop guaranteed stop stop with limit you might also have encountered the notion of a stop order being good until in this chapter i'll defend those terms many flavors stop orders and their relationships in them note that here and in other chapters of this part of the book i use the term many flavors of stop orders to mean the stop order mechanisms or order types and their parameters that may be offered by your broker or spread betting provider these are the these are the tools of the trade in some books you will see stops categorized as per as percent retracement stops volatility stops support and resistance stops and so on according to the levels at which those stops are set relative to the current price these are stop placement techniques which i defer to part two of this book on your broker's website you are likely to see likely to see a button inviting you to place a trailing stop order to sell but you are most likely to see a button inviting you to place a volatility so we look specifically at stop order first introduce or remind you of basic market with introduction for a time orders that you can give a broker fall broadly into categories market orders that are intended to trade more or less immediately and unconditionally the current or national level market limit orders and stop orders that are intended to stick with your broker as standing orders to be executed when a certain condition is met i e when the price reaches a price that I'll set the scene by producing market orders and limit orders that follow. Top orders, of course, being the subject of the rest of the market orders. Market order could take the form of a best order in which to instruct a broker to buy the specified sector best possible. The order should be executed immediately or in the very near future. You cannot be certain at what price. Alternatively, market uh, alternatively a market order could take the form of a quote and deal order, in which the broker quotes a price by telephone or on your computer screen during the market hours, and you have a few seconds or minutes to accept trade. The point about these orders is that they are more like immediate instructions than standing orders and are designed to trade unconditionally at or around the current market in the case of an at best orders placed out of hours the current market price will mean the next day's open limit orders limit orders are designed to execute sometimes in the future which could be immediately if a certain condition is met for an order to buy this would usually mean to buy at a price no greater than the limit you have set for an order for an order to sell it would usually mean to sell at a price no lower than the limit thus a limit order ensures that you trade what you think is a good price or not at all for example suppose you want to buy some shares at a price no more than 80 cents share the limit order should execute immediately if the current price is 20 cents if the current price is 90 cents per share the order will be put on hold until the price reaches the limit you set. the price may never reach your limit why limit orders are set to not guarantee execution suppose you want to sell your shares at a price of at least 
one dollar twenty cents per share. The limit order should execute immediately if the current price is one dollar thirty cents. If the current price is one dollar ten cents share, the order will be put on hold until the price will reduce. Once again, limit orders do not currently. One way to use limit orders is for buying low and selling high in a range bound market. Suppose the FTSC 100 has been oscillating between 5000 5500. You might place a limit order to buy at no more than 5100. And once bought, you might place a limit order value no less than 400. In this pattern, you would be aiming to capture a profit of. At least 300 points in every cycle. A limit order to buy always triggers from above when the price falls to reach. Price falls to that limit order to sell always triggers so the price rises. The limit of limit orders. Do you see the problem with this limit buy or sell pattern? Only as long as the index or other financial trades the expected range. In my example, there is a fall below 5,000 good level or a breakout above 500. The resistance level, you will be buying into a falling market or selling out of a rising market. Ideally, what you'd like to do is to buy into a rising market and sell out of a falling market, which is where stop orders. In these books introduction, I have highlighted the importance of having an exiting strategy. One such strategy is to exit when a particular profit target is listed, and a limit order will allow you to just that. But the problem with profit targets is that by selling out for a 20% profit, you take yourself out of the running for 100% profit or more, whereas limit orders serve to limit your profits in this way. Top orders allow you to let your profits run. Top orders and there are many flavors. Whereas limit orders by design by, by you into a falling market and sell you out of a rising market. Top orders do exactly the opposite. They buy you in the rising market, sell you out of a falling market. Without wishing to complicate matters too much at this point, the phrasing would be slightly different for short traders. A stop order sell them into a falling market, buy them out of a rising market. In the brief explanation that follow, I use concise names like stop order to buy and trailing stop order to sell. So as to distinguish the various flavors, your broker might use names explicitly like this in order to differentiate the various order types that it draws, or it might present you with the what it what is apparently a smaller range of stop order types. For example, a stop sell or sell stop order type furnished with an on-screen checkbox that transforms it to a trailing stop sell order. Your spread betting provider might present you with a single input box level stop. Mistakes on the role of a stop sell or stop buy according to whatever you are applying the market, the order to a long position or a short position. In a nut sell, the provider of your trading platform may well offer you the full set of stop orders present. The guys of a smaller set. A stop order to sell. A stop order to sell. Designed to execute sometimes in the future, the price of the stock or other security falls to a level that set. this set this use of a stop order as a stop loss order the most common use. This is why I introduced the sell case first. Stop order to sell is often used by long traders and investors as an exit mechanism. As you will see later. Short traders would use a stop order to sell as an entry mechanism rather than an exit mechanism. You may find it enlightening to compare the following statement about a stop order to sell with 
earlier statement for a limit order to sell. A stop order to sell always triggers from above. When the price falls to the level you set, or says a limit order to sell always triggers from above. When the price rises to the limit, stop order to buy. A stop order to buy is designed to execute sometimes in the future when the price of the other security rises to a level that you set. A stop order to buy is often used by long followers. We'll see later short traders would use a stop order to buy an exit mechanism rather than an exit. You may find it enlightening to compare the following stop order to buy always triggers from below when the price rises the level you set versus the limit order to buy always triggers from when the price falls to the limit trailing stop order to sell a trailing stop order to sell is designed execute sometime in the price of the stock or other security falls any price paid by an amount that you set. A stop order may be trailed manually that is you adjust it periodically yourself or your broker may allow you to buy a stop order that automatically trails at fixed degree below a rising Trailing stop order to sell is often used by long trend followers as an exit mechanism to exit a position when upward price trend. We'll see later, short traders would use a trailing stop order to sell as an entry mechanism rather than an exit mechanism. Trailing stop order to buy. Trailing stop order to buy is designed to execute sometime in the future. The price of stock the security rises from a to buy amount. Again, this may be a manually order order to buy trails or fixed things or falling. Trailing stop order to buy could be used by long trading bottom entry mechanism means of buying low. In C later, short traders use a trailing stop order to buy as an exit rather than an exit. Let's see that your broker describes a stop order means that the stop level is bridged. Position will certainly be closed or as appropriate necessarily at the prices. The market's gap described in chapter and chapter find that your order stop order executes at a favorable price. To alleviate these problems, brokers and guarantee of for a nominal addition. Nothing in life is free. After all, we can be assured. That your stop order will execute at exactly the price you set. Depending on the broker guarantee, may be applicable to a stop order to buy or sell, and maybe even trading where stop with limit. Some brokers do not provide guaranteed stops, but they do provide another facility to help alleviate the market problem that stop with. Limit. Idea is that you can specify a stop order along this line. Tell out if the price falls to 100, but not if it gets down to 8. Depending on your viewpoint, this facility might be very useful because it protects you from gaps that might be very Because in some cases, it may be better, may be better to sell out at a favorable rather than not. Depending on the broker, a limit may be applicable to stop order to buy, I stop order to sell, and maybe even their trailing periods. Good until 
when you apply a stop order you can often specify the length of time for which this order is valid the broker might allow you to say stop order is valid for a number of business days for example from 1 to 30 days or your spread betting provider might allow you to specify that of stop order valid until cancel of one day only here the latter would be offered as to a pure day trader does not wish to open up next day is open twice one cancels other well, on one cancels other OCO order follows you to place two orders with the execution of one of those orders triggering the cancellation of for example, you might conclude that a price oscillating within a very high trading soon break or into a sustained up or down trade. to benefit in either case, you might even you might place simultaneously a stop order to buy. Trigger if the price breaks out above the resistance level, a stop order to trigger if the price breaks out below the if the price breaks of course your stop order to sell would be redundant if the price breaks downwards your stop order to buy would be redundant so it would make sense for these traders these orders to be one cancel note that not all brokers providers allow OCO orders and may be charged by many flavors you may wonder why I prefer why I refer to many to the many flavors of other than the many types because as described above there are two basic kinds of order each of which may have a corresponding thing be possible to guarantee that price at which a stop order executes and you may be able to set a limit on the price at which order executes. Finally you may be able to set a good time period over which the order is valid and you may be able to combine stop orders such that one cancels these variations on the basic stop order theme are what I refer to as the manipulative stop orders example of if you trade online rather than over the phone your broker or spread betting provider will present some kind of web form where which use your stop order type and specify the required term. They may offer a separate form for each of the stop order flavor that I have presented or a single form that caters all of the flavors of two examples follow. Um, example a uh, stop broker stop stop order form. Figure one was an example order stop order that might appear on a stock broker's trading platform in this example you choose the stock to which stop order is to hide type of stop order is proper trailing stop and type of buy sell stop order type stop or trailing stop selection My illustrated section, illustrated selections in this tab would lead to a certain form shown. The trailing is from distance. In this case, 5, the optional limit in 10. Period for which the order is based 30 business. Sample spread waiting stop order form. The order form provided by your stock broker may well be much better than previous example as might your spread betting provider's order. Figure 3 shows an example stock order from form that might appear spread betting on web page. In this case, trailing stops are not and the platform knows that this will be a sell order because it is being applied to a long pull that will need only Card is top level. Period for which the order is student. This order form allows you to guarantee top 
level by checking the long and short of stop orders before we get into the mate of the book i'd like to reiterate and clarify what i hinted at with, with respect to short traders this part of the book mainly on long traders who benefit when a price rises but for every use of stop order by a long trader there is a possible inverse use of the same stop order by a short trader in most cases, I will describe the long trading or investing case followed by a brief paragraph in side notes. Example below that clarifies the short trade. Times the word buy, the words buy and sell, and in out or enter and exit will be reversed. Where a long trader use a stop order to sell so as to limit a potential loss, a short trader would use a stop order to buy. For the same effect, and where a long trader use a stop order to buy, buy in, where a short trader would stop order to buy, in order to buy out. If you are committed to long trading and investing only, you need not worry about the additional short trade. If you are an exit existing or aspiring existing or aspiring short trader the additional notes should make sense my advice don't even consider short trade the acid test come back to this chapter and where your understanding summary of the stop orders for long and short trade Long trader or investor, short trader, stop order to sell. Long trader would use it to sell short of falling price trade. Short trader will use it to entry material. Sell falling. Stop order to buy the entry mechanism buys you into to, to a rising price trend. Whereas for short trader, it's that exit mechanism buys you out of a rising market. Trailing is of order to sell. Exit mechanism is used as exit mechanism for a trader. Sells you out when a previously rising comes down. And for short trader, it's used as entry mechanism. Sells you in when a previously rising. Trailing is stop order to buy. Long trader used use it for entry mechanism. As you now, falling trend turn. And short trader use trailing order to buy as exit mechanism. Buys you out of out when a previously falling trend turns up. Note whenever wherever I use the phrase short trading, I mean something quite different. Short term trader who may be a day trader or a trader gets long or short but times compared as a short trader simply note about dealing chart the base bid ask okay so let's in the example that follows I largely ignore the dealing chart do this for simplicity and because the impact of the dealing chart can vary enormous depending on the broker you choose. The trading platform and the jurisdiction country operating, the drag effect transaction charges will be very different for a retail investor attempting to date, perhaps unwisely, a regular brokerage account compared to square to a fund manager make multi million dollar for your adjustments, but make no mistake, as you will see in part two, dealing charges can have a significant effect on your overall performance. If you trade often, so you should keep this in mind. Dealing charges do not usually apply to specs. I have also largely ignored the bid as spread the difference between buying and selling prices. Example simple, and because this. Will vary according to 
the chosen strong diabetic fire and also according to this credit the effect of the bid asks that is implicit in my example to the extent that a buy at 55 50 with a stop loss order at 40 would already be halfway to the stop level if there was a plus spread be aware beware that those securities that have a wide wide bid ask relative to your stop while I have largely ignored this cause of trading until two of this book, should keep them at all times. It will cause money regardless of whether it is a winning or losing trade. Only way to track on trading show that the profits of your winning trade or way. Most effective to do this to losses, let your profit. Which is exactly what is wrong. All right, guys. So that's the chapter, like introduction in chapter one. And uh, in the next video, we'll be reading chapter two, which is. I'll see you guys in the next.